Hello folks. So in the previous video, we basically created a Azure storage account. And when we created that account, uh, we chose uh, uh, the virtual network option as all networks, right? But as I told you earlier, we can basically select our own virtual network as well. So what we can do is we can add our storage account into a, a, a new um, virtual network or an existing virtual network. But since we don't have any virtual network as such, uh, so we will be creating uh, a fresh virtual network from the beginning. Okay. So how can we create that? Uh, let Let's see that. So this is my storage account, ML storage AZ, which we created earlier. And what we can do is we can just go and click on firewall and networks, virtual networks, right? So here you can see that the default option which we chose uh, uh, in the uh, while creating this storage account was all networks. Okay, so now we, what do we need to do? We need to create a new uh, storage, uh, sorry, st uh, virtual network, right? So how can we do that? I'll show you. So guys, uh, you can see that there are two options, all networks, select, selected network. So we will click on selected network to create a new virtual network. And here you are given uh, options to add existing virtual network or a new virtual network as I told you earlier. So we'll click on add new virtual network. Okay. And there we will provide the details of this new virtual network. So let us say uh, name of the virtual network is ML virtual or VNet. Let us say ML VNet AC. And the address space is uh, uh, nothing but uh, okay. So address space is the range of IP uh, addresses. So how can we create address spaces? Let's let's give ten dot one dot zero dot zero slash twenty four because we don't want to create so many address spaces. Okay, so this will be our address space. Our uh, resource group, we will use our existing resource group here. Location will be best US by default. Subnet name we will keep uh, by default. Uh, name as default. And the uh, address range is, let's say, we will give here. Okay, guys. So uh, the address range, um, I will keep same as the address space okay ddos protection i will keep uh, so ddos is nothing but denial of service protection okay so i i will keep basic here okay and the firewall i will have it disabled now when it comes to firewall okay there is a uh, there are ip firewalls and through this we can allow only whitelist ip addresses to access this storage so I could, in a nutshell, uh, restrict it to your uh, personal IP address or IP address of your organization. Okay. So in the exception section, uh, I have, uh, I mean, uh, this is by default, uh, this option is chosen, right? Uh, we can see that we can select the checkbox to, uh, you know, apply uh, exceptions to any of these three options and allow trusted Microsoft services to access this storage means that log files will be created uh, by your virtual machine and you are allowing Microsoft to use your storage account. And through the other two options, these two options, uh, you can enable log analytics to get into your storage account where you are keeping your stuff in uh, storage for logging purpose, okay? So I will I won't be selecting these two options. I will just keep it the default option and let's click on save first. And now I will click on create. So 
so now we can see that our um, virtual network is created here okay uh, so okay so it's basically created now let's go to basically our uh, storage account okay let's click on overview now i have this blob storage right let's click on blob storage here so here you can see that uh, there's a message you don't have any containers yet so let's create a container name is my container let us say so you can choose your public uh, sorry blob private and container storage access level click ok here ok So you can see that container is created so what i was saying that uh, if you click on this container properties okay so if you click on this container properties uh, there will be a, a url provided okay so this url i'm talking about if you try to uh, access this url publicly or through public internet you won't be able to access it because uh, you know uh, just you just turned on virtual network access so you won't be able to access this uh, particular url even if you have uh, access keys then also you won't be able to access this url let's check once here let's copy paste here so you can see the message authorization failure right because we have turned on our virtual network right so yeah so this is about uh, how to add the uh, your storage account in your virtual network and basically it, it's very uh, uh, secure as well because uh, you know nobody uh, from outside would be able to access your storage account if he or she doesn't have a right authorization access okay and you have seen that you know, since we have included our storage account into a virtual network uh we i mean we cannot access uh, that storage account here right right so let's move on to another topic which is uh, which is shared access signature okay guys so guys we created uh, one virtual network earlier and uh, you know for the sake of simplicity uh since you want to discuss more about the shared access signature let's delete that virtual network from our resource group okay so ml resources and this this was our virtual network right so what we will do is we will We will delete this okay so let's uh, you can see the type is virtual network here right so we can delete this and let's type yes and then click on delete so you can see that our virtual network is deleted now go to ml storage az once again and let's click on shared access signature okay so folks let's do one thing before exploring shared access signature let's explore access keys first okay so now here you can see that microsoft have provided two uh, keys key one and key two okay and uh, anyone having access to the uh, this key will have a full permission of storage account okay 
and uh, you can use apis uh, in junction uh, in conjunction with the access key to fetch the data programmatically and the reason we have two keys here is that if someone if some unforeseen event happens due to which you want to change your primary security key um, okay now due to this all your associated application stops working so in such scenario you can switch your application to second key now once the issue is resolved you can regenerate your key one and switch back again your application so in this way you can switch between the keys without affecting the application okay so here you can see this is the key okay now let's see the shared access signature here okay and this is this is another option uh, you know which is a kind of alternative to access keys that is rather than sharing your key uh, with everyone you can just enable shared access signature and through this you can give access of a specific service to a specific person or application okay um, I can take an example. Uh, so, for example, I will uncheck, uh, let us say, uh, so you can see the allowed services blob because we selected blob and allowed resources type of service container and objects. So, let me uncheck, let us say, read, delete, list and create i'm just keeping right access here okay and here we can provide the start and expiry or date of this shared access signature okay so start date start time end date end time and the time zone okay uh, allowed ip addresses you can provide a, a set of ip addresses for which you want to allow this access a uh, shared access okay and the protocols you can choose here uh, either you can provide only a secure protocol which is https or uh, both https and http okay signing key i'm uh, choosing here is uh, key one okay and let's click on uh, generate as and connection string so basically what uh, what we can do is we can use this sas token to uh, access the uh, storage account rather than providing the storage access key so earlier we we were providing the access key so instead of access key now we can copy uh, this particular sas token and access our database okay so in that case we don't have to provide our access key so our access key won't be exposed here right so this is the pro benefit of having a uh, you know uh, this shared access signature All right folks so this is it about this video uh, uh, i hope you liked it uh, i will be covering the uh, upcoming topics in the next videos uh, so please keep on watching and if you like this video please hit a like button share the video as well as uh, subscribe thank you